Hey mates, how is life behind bars? Not these bars, but these bars. Now, if you haven't already seen it, I did an SW Motec Pro Tank Bag range on the KTM very recently. I put a link up above for that. Last year I did the same kind of tank bag range again, but on the, well, on this BMW GS Adventure right here. Now, that shows the whole range of Pro Tank Bags that SW Motec do. However, I lied. I didn't realize there's one out there called the Yukon, which is this here. So this is the Yukon bag. I'm gonna take it out now and you can have a look at it. Now, the Yukon bag is fully waterproof, hence why it's called a Yukon WP Pro Tank Bag. Whereas with the other tank bags in the range that I do, they have an expandable zip either at the top or the bottom, so it can be anything between, let's say, if you look at the day pack, for example, that is between five to eight liters capacity because you've got the expandable zip. So when it's closed, it's just five liters. With the Yukon, it's six liters and you can't expand it. That's obviously got a lot to do with the waterproof properties of the bag. Now, the actual material of this that makes this waterproof is EVA. And all of the joins on here is welded with TPU. I have no idea what this means, but basically it means it's completely waterproof. All of the zips are completely sealed. So you'll know straight away when you're holding it in your hand, it feels like one of those waterproof bags, like the bags that you roll over and roll over three times, then you clip it down and it's completely sealed. It's that, that same material, but obviously you don't have to roll it down. So this is the Yukon in my left hand, this one here. And then here we've got the day pack. So you can get an idea of the size comparison. It's a very similar size to the day pack, but the day pack obviously expands to eight liters, where this stays as six. Okay. And obviously the day pack isn't fully waterproof. So let's quickly pop it on the bike and show you inside so you can see exactly what it's like. So the same as with all the other pro tank bag range, you get the slider mechanism on here. It fits with the same tank rings for your bike. So you have the slider mechanism on here. You tighten it into the position where you want that to be. So you can slide this back and forth. So I've already fitted this perfectly. So it fits onto my GS Adventure just right, which is there. And I've tightened up all the four points. So now we're going to drop it on and it's literally, it's literally as easy as this. <laughs> it's literally as easy as this. <laughs> it's literally as easy as this. <laughs> so it's literally as easy as this. There we are. That is completely on there. And to release it, we have the, the red tag at the front, which we pull, that releases the lock and it's off. So put it on again. And then we have full movement here of the handlebar because I've set it up just right. Now, let's take a look inside the actual tank bag. So as I open here, you'll notice we haven't got a zip on the outside to open the lid. We've got a magnetic flap, but it's a really good magnetic flap. It's not just any ordinary magnetic flap. So you open that there, that opens up. In here, we've got a clear window and we've got a sealed zipper there with a very nice zip on it. And then we've got these big robust zips here. And as you're undoing it, you can see the rubber sealing on the zip. That opens up and then we're inside. We've got this little compartment here. If you want to make any separation inside this six litre capacity, we've got a little zip on there so we can hold things inside there if we want to. We've got Velcro straps on the inside of here in case we want to put, strap anything to the inside of the bag. And obviously we can set this partition wherever we want across the middle of the bag. Let's close that down again. So there it is, the SW Motec Pro Yukon WP. 
If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you've already got this bag, we'd love to hear from you what you think of it. Has it been working well for you? So I don't think it's a very new bag to the SW Motec range, but it's certainly a new bag to a bike thing. I didn't even know about it until I tripped over it the other day, so I bought a load in. The only downside to this is I'm recording this at 5 p.m on a Thursday afternoon. I posted a video on Instagram around midday today saying that I'd be recording this, but then the whole afternoon was full of interruptions and between me posting on Instagram and me recording, we've only got one left in stock and we had 10 of them sitting on the shelf as of yesterday. So we have got more coming. So if you're interested in this, obviously still go ahead and buy it because we have got them constantly coming. Until next time, stay safe behind bars and I'll see you in the next video.